Hi, welcome to Puffin Knits. I'm Kelly. I just started knitting in September and I thought it would be fun to do a podcast. So here we are. Mesa skein shirt. Yay. Okay. Um, I did do crochet and I still will do crochet because it's fun and I love it. And here's my shawl. This is out of Mesa Skeins Hot Kiss. It's a sweater, which I should be wearing. But here I am in a sweatshirt. Anyways, you can find me on Instagram at puffin underscore knits. And on YouTube at puffin knits. There might be an underscore in between. I'm not sure. Should have checked that out before I started recording. Oh, well. Well, like I said, I just started knitting in September. I... We went down to Branson and Kelsey that owns 398 Fiber Arts taught me how to knit. She sat there with me probably for four hours and it was wonderful and I love it so much and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Yes. So I made, she sent me home with, well I bought it, the chunky fiber to make a hat and I have tore this house apart and cannot find that hat so it'll turn up somewhere I know it anyways I have three FOs so let's get into that my first FO which I made for myself so when I started knitting I just knit 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 and then looked at it to see what I did wrong and then I decided okay well this is that I frogged that out and I knit over again and I knit and purled knit and purled knit and purled anyways I frogged that out and this I used it this to make a cowl and this is the slip stitch heel cowl I'm not going to put it on because I'm hot. I'm having a hot flash right here. Right here, right now. Um, and it's out of Stargrove Fibers. She's in Connecticut. And this is Tulip Fields. And I love it. It's already been washed and blocked. And that's mine. So nobody gets that. And then I made... Our son, he wanted a beanie so bad. So, like I said, I have all this fiber, so I let him pick something out. And he picked out toasted marshmallow from Stargrove Fibers. And this is the photographer's hat. But I casted it on because he has a very large head. A little bit larger than what the cast on said and it fits him perfect over his curly hair and he looks super cute in it and it's on my Instagram so there's that and then I knit because I was gonna make gifts because our daughter said don't get the kids too much because they already have too much because one's 13 and one's eight so We'll probably just give them cash, actually. But that's not fun. So I knit our granddaughter, Audrey, a photographer's hat. They live in Chicago, so it gets really cold up there. And this is out of Stargirl Fibers, if I didn't say it before. And it's Dragon's Egg. She loves dragons and dinosaurs, so that'll be a winner. And I found these little tins at Dollar Tree. And I thought they'd be perfect to put their gifts in. So, how cute will that be? With some tissue paper. Yeah. Um, so, who's been getting 
advent calendars in the mail lately. I think I went a little crazy with Alvin calendars. My first one arrived and it was, it's zebra yarns and it's somewhere up here. Oops, I'm shaking the camera. I can't unwrap it until the 25th. So that's her. And then I'm going out of order. We should go to whips whips. Okay. Next gifts is in my stitch in plaza bag, which I've knotted up on myself here. Okay. Well, um, okay. This is Look at that. This is Love Potion number nine, and this is Macy's, Mesa Skeins colorway. And it's knitting up beautifully. It's gonna be a two by two ribbed, and then I'm just gonna knit it all the way up and put a pom pom on it. But I don't know if the gray will work, or I had a white one around here. I think it fell on the floor. I think the gray will work best for our daughter. And I'm using a US 8 5 millimeter. And I'm just sitting watching TV and do a couple rows on one, then I'll switch off and do a couple of rows on another project because. I get color, uh, bored of the color. And then I'm almost done with this. I think I have probably about four more inches and then I can start doing the decrease. And this is on my son-in-law's hat. It's Big Mouth Bass and it's out of Stargrove's fibers from Connecticut as well. Look at all that blue and green. Dan goes fishing a lot, so it just worked out that big mouth bass, fishing, Dan, perfect. And these are on, these are on my Navy leaky needles. I only use leaky needles and I don't know why. That's probably because of what I started with. Um, that's what Kelsey has at the shop. So, and I love them. They're slick when they need to be and gummy when they need to be. Um, this is on a US 6 4 4 millimeter. I had to take the glasses off. And I love it. I hope he'll love it. I'm sure he will. Okay, let's put that back. Um, that's all of gifts that I've started. But for our grandson, I can't find it. I don't know. It was a St. Louis Blues colorway, and it's from Stargrove Fibers, and it just wound up being perfect for the St. Louis Blues. Because our grandson plays hockey, and he can skate, let me tell you. Um, my next whip is something for me, and it's another cowl. And it's from 398 fiber and this is so much fun to knit up and to see what colors come out and I love it it's with my Vix knits look at that Santa um, this is holly golly G 
from 398 in Branson. And that is my local yarn store, besides Mesa Skeins, which I order from a lot. But don't tell anybody, okay? Um, ooh, I also have Mesa Skeins in here. I guess I was gonna... The Monster Mash. I was gonna cast on something for that. I might still do that. Okay, then this next whip has been taking me forever. Forever. It's the Bella Cowl, and I don't know who it's by, but it is growing to be a big girl. This is all Mesa Skeins uh, fall colorway. We have pumpkin latte, which is gorgeous. Cider. Roasted pumpkin. Pumpkin spice. And then my next one, which I'm going to do more because I have a lot more of pumpkin spice. I have probably, see how that it has these points that it goes to? So when I, uh, see how that is? Look at that. So when I block this, it, it should, it, it'll be better. Um, so I have three more points to do in this. Hopefully I can do it in that. And then, which I didn't bring down, uh, then, then the next colorway would be the Book of Spells. And it's taken forever. And I've made some mistakes, so... Oops. But that's my first big, 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 big project. Big project. And that's for me. And that's in my Stitching Plaza bag. Okay. Um, next, I have to cast this on because when I was down at 398 a couple days ago, well, last week, really. I found this in her boo-boo bin and I just had to bring it back for our son Josh because he I showed it to him and he said please 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 would you make me a hat for this so definitely so let's go to Advents I guess so who's been getting Advent calendars in the mail uh, like I said before, I think I went overboard and I only thought I ordered four. Well, I ordered six. Six. Two has not arrived yet. I got zebra yarns. And then I took these boxes and I wrapped them because it was kind of a... funky colored box anyways and this is from Stargirl Fibers so I can't wait and then what is this one from and she included a pattern this is from Crafting outside the box. She included a 12 days of a Christmas Advent scarf from Jesse Holcomb, designed by Jesse Holcomb. So that's that. And these are 12 days. And then I ordered a 
getting really close to the camera. I ordered a 24 day. Why? Just because? I don't know. And it is from Weird Sisters Wool. And it's supposed to like have Harry Potter theme. I did the Yule Ball, Yule Ball theme, which is from Harry Potter. And once again, I wrapped the box so it would be pretty. And I stuffed them all in there. So, um, this one comes with a full skein at the end. And Stargirl Fibers comes with a full skein at the end. And I'm still waiting on Cake Wool and Mace of Skeins. And I know Mace of Skeins, she shipped everything out. Or ship mine. Or shipped everything. Uh, yesterday. So it should be arriving Friday probably. So I'll have that to put down in my craft room. Oh, by the way, this is a fibery knitting, crochet, sometimes cricket. Podcast, if I didn't say it before. My apologies. I'm so sorry. Anyways, like I said, I went down to 398 in Branson and took a day and spent the night down there and just had a day by myself, a night by myself where I could knit and watch movies and it was wonderful, peaceful. And when I went to 398, I kind of did some damage. So let me show you what I bought. Anyways, does anyone know the Rocket Tea? And I don't know the designer. Put it down in the comments. I picked out these two. And I have two of each to do the Rocket Tea. Look at that. Mohair. And then this is the new colorway. This is... I can't pronounce it. Clear Sky. And this is Faded Denim. Then I did get three because they only had three DK left and I love this so much it's their desert flower so I'm gonna make something out of that also like, I didn't need it, but I got it anyways. I got another set of leaky needles. You know, just to have. Yeah, why not? Oops, check the camera. Um, what else did I get? Oh, you're right here in front of me. So to do my fingering, which is on this side... I get one, two, three cubes of fingering weight. And then this is special stuff. Like it's uh, mohair, it's sock yarn, like sock sets. Um, stuff that Macy's put in her boxes. This is the cauldron that I'll do something with. Anything that I think special goes in here. See? It's falling out at me. And then on this side is one, two, three DK. Anyways, I picked up some smaller needles so I could do the fingering weight. Cause I was having trouble to doing fingering weight 
on a three millimeter. So I picked up a 24 inch cord, uh, a 2.5 millimeter. And then I picked up a 16 inch cord, a two millimeter. They're tiny. And then a 16 inch cord at a 275 meter. Okay, that's a cat at the door. And then I picked up, sorry, I picked up these because one, they're pink. I needed the cable so I could put the interchangeable needles on. And this is another 4.0 millimeter. It's a US 6. And this is a US 4, uh, 4.5 millimeter. I was going to try with using the longer needles instead of purchasing a whole kit, which is around 100. So I didn't want to do that. Um, so that's all I have, I think. So, tell me what advents you're getting in the comments below. And, um, what podcast you're watching lately. I've been watching, I know there's a uh, Sweet Pea and Chickadee coming out today. And... A made by Maddie for her week. I don't know what's coming out any this week or not. I know the Lefty Knitter will come out on Saturdays and I love her a lot. Um, so let me know in the comments below what podcast you're watching, what advent you're getting in, what kind of yarn you, li you like. Just, you know, because I'm a new knitter, so I'm with these three yarn companies. Actually, four, sorry. I have the Craftly, Craft, Crafty in the box. Nope, that's not it. Um, and if you like the podcast, hit subscribe, ring that bell. And give me a big thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye.